Hello everyone and welcome back to another webinar stroke interview and uh, as I've said in the previous ones we're trying our best to help you out stay positive moving forward in this uh, tough time and help you out the best we can. So I'm in the same situation as uh, everyone else where uh, weddings, portraits and jobs are all getting postponed until the end of the year and I find myself that uh, I've now got two months free, so I'm diversifying myself in the way of doing these interviews to keep me busy and occupied and stop me from climbing up the wall and watching TV all the time. So uh, hopefully you'll find something interesting from this and that you can take away and we can help you out. Uh, so I'm going to read from a couple of notes here. Uh, today we've got um, Andrew Funderberg and uh, he's the founder of Fundy Designer. So uh, a little bit about Andrew. So uh, everyone calls him uh, Fundy. So he's a photographer expert and an industry visionary. Uh, he has passion for people and capturing emotion and telling their stories through print. Uh, he's a creator of Fundy Design Suite software and that's um, a platform where it's basically a template free and it helps you design albums, uh, build galleries, wall art, and much more for your business as well. Helps you brand your business uh, and makes things a lot more simpler to streamline you. Uh, if I was to um, sort of go back on Andrew and how he got started, uh, is uh, I'll just quickly read over my notes here. So uh, he started uh, street photography when he was living in Japan. Um, and that's kind of what started his profession off as a, a full-time photographer. And his first digital wedding was back in 2003 in Japan. Uh, I hope I've got that right. We'll, uh, we'll check with him in a, in a moment. And it was when he uh, designed his first wedding album. Um, that's kind of what gave him the idea for Fundy Software and basically kick-started his career into uh, what it is today. So I'm going to just share my screen a moment. So let's just quickly share my screen. I'll show you who I am and then we'll uh, see you, Andrew. So uh, this is uh, myself. So I'm a wedding and portrait photographer and I cover weddings worldwide. If you want to know more about me, then just jump over to the About Me section. Uh, a nice handsome picture of me there, all edited and airbrushed. I'm a bit rough and ready around the edges now, so uh, I'd like to look You at look that. fantastic in that. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. And um, if we go over to uh, Fundy Designer, so this is uh, kind of the, the backbone of Andrew now, what he, uh, what he does. Obviously, he's passionate about street photography, and I would say his genre is black and white uh, street photography. He likes to get to know the people that he's taking the photos of and promotes the, the power of print um, heavily. So if, uh, if you are struggling for something to do, if you are a wedding photographer or a portrait photographer, if you've got a, um, a studio and you're looking to streamline your business, then I would definitely say head over to Fundy Designer. You can download a free trial and you can test it out. And if you are a bit quiet, then maybe this is the time to, uh, to look at how you can streamline things and make things a lot easier for yourself. So I'm just going to end that. We'll go over to um, Andrew. So um, let's just put us both on the screen for a minute. How did I do? Was I, was I close to? Uh... That, was, that was great. That was pretty spot on, yeah. So I started professional photography in Japan, shooting weddings there. Um, our kids, uh, when they turned six and eight, uh, we decided to come back to the US. Uh, we were living in a small town in Japan. I just really kind of wanted them to have a, uh, more diverse experience. Um, so moving back to the U S we live in a super diverse area of, um, just outside of Portland, Oregon, there's something like 90 different languages spoken in the school system. So, uh, that's really good. Uh, and then, uh, when we moved back is when I started Fundy software and, uh, my kind of whole thing is that with photo design, we basically want edges of photos to line up. So if we use math to do that instead of templates, then it's just a lot more creative and fun. Yeah, yeah. and and it's, um, you know, what I found when I first started, templates really restrict what you can do. 
um, as well with the uh, Fundy Designer. Basically, why I say to all my clients, the sky's the limit. If you can think of it, then I can design it. So, um, and you know what you were saying there about coming back from Japan. I mean, I, I did kind of the same myself um, when I came out of the army. It was to start a family. You know, we travelled around a lot, and I, I wanted that uh, safe zone of being in a, a place where education was good, and I could offer sort of Jonathan a lot more as well. Yeah. So I've got some questions for you. Um, yeah. We're going to uh, kick off with the first one now. One of the reasons why I wanted to um, to speak with you, Andrew, you know, uh, you're, you're an inspiring person. Uh, I know I follow you a lot in the industry on, on what you do. Um, you have been through difficult times in business. Um, so you, you are a business owner. You have staff that you have to look at. Mm -hmm. um, you've unfortunate to have to see uh, the 9-11 that happened and take your business through that. Uh, but, you know, luckily you came out of it the other side and, uh, you know, hopefully stronger than ever. So uh, my, my first question to you is, uh, as a business owner, you've seen recessions before uh, come through them. What's the difference with what's happening at the moment? And how have you turned it into a, a positive moving forward? Uh, so I think, you know, that's a difficult question. I think... Uh, Turning it into a positive is probably an overstatement, but trying to be positive in your business is what uh, we all need to do. So being uh, less than young in this industry, um, you know, when I graduated college, we were in the middle of a recession in the 90s, um, worldwide recession, 9-11 uh, hit, uh, obviously big recession. Um, in the US we had, uh, and I believe in the UK you were affected with this a lot too is the um, the mortgage crisis and this financial recession through 08 09 2010 so um, I think the the biggest thing to understand uh, and you know if if you have only been if you've only had a photography business for seven or eight years um, and you you didn't go through that previous recession uh, reach out to older people who were running their own business during that time for uh, just to chat on the phone, right? There's, there's going to be a lot of things that happen and it's going to be necessary that you check in with people who have been through this before and survive through this before uh, every step of the way, because things are much different today, even than they were three days ago, especially here in the U S are you in the UK? Are you on a full lockdown now throughout the entire UK or what's the situation there? It's, it's changing day by day, even to the point where it's just changed now. So um, we're, we're not on full lockdown at the moment, but mm -hmm. he's, he, he is pushing the boundaries. All our schools are, are closed from, uh, yeah. from today. Um, he's now just announced that everyone has to shut the, the bars and mm -hmm. uh, pubs, so they have to close. And he's contemplating on whether to put London in uh, full lockdown. Yeah, um, I mean, it's, it is affecting education in a, a mm -hmm. massive way. I know, so my son, um, he was, uh, he's in year 11. He was to do uh, his exams in a couple of months, mm -hmm. uh, but they've actually told him that today is his last day at school, that he's actually yeah. now finished school. There won't be any exams, and all they're going to do is predict his results off his mocks that he's done. I think they're going to have to do that here. They haven't made those decisions yet, which is creating a lot of anxiety with uh, kids. So they, they're they going to need to do that. But uh, I don't know about there, but here they would actually have to bring it up to a vote in the Congress state by state. So uh, I'm not sure how soon that's going to happen. Yeah, um, it's, 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 so I think going back to the original question, I think how things are different is that um, we've never had a financial crisis along with a natural or man-made disaster at the same time. And I think that while there are similarities to 9-11, that really only happened in one place. So I think what we're dealing with is very much as if there was a, an earthquake or you know, a tornado or something in every single town all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And right? it's, it's, it's like... It's like you were saying, though, every day is different. 
Um, yeah. It's like, you know, on Monday, there could be another announcement and everything could change again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, I think that, um, and we'll kind of go over, is that enough on that question or were there more yeah. things that we talk about? No, yeah. Do? So, you know, I mean, that touch is based really on, uh, on kind of my, my next question. So, you know, you, you have, you're a, you're a business owner, you have responsibilities mm -hmm. with your business. Yeah. Uh, and by that, I mean, you know, you have staff and mm -hmm. uh, you have to support them, uh, your team. How are you supporting them? And, and how could you give other people, I, I know that are worrying about uh, their own staff, whether yeah. they're self-employed or they've got two members of staff, how could you give some advice to them on um, how to support them? So I think one of the benefits that um, of having gone through 9-11, the crash stuff is I am, I'm a very fisc fiscally conservative person. Yeah. Um, you've, you've visited me, like we don't, I don't drive a Mercedes Benz. I have a very uh, normal house. Um, you we like put a lot of money in savings, <laughs> you know, we pay off our debt. So, uh, and then in the company too. And the benefit of that is that when something like this happens, we have a very large buffer yeah. going forward. Um, so uh, if you have that buffer, that's, that's awesome. And what you need to do is figure out how to make that buffer last as long as possible, because we, nobody knows how long we're going to have to get through. Um, if you don't have a buffer, then this is the time when you need to start um, getting rid of as many expenses as you can. You and know, even, all, even, even I've all done of that five dollar app monthly payments you're making. Um, you know, call up your bank, extend your mortgage if if your government hasn't in, intervened. Call up your landlord, extend your rent. Anything that you can do to keep your bank accounts full at this time is is vital. And I mean, I've, uh, I've even done that myself. I'm, I'm a bit like yourself. I'm quite lucky. I, I've always um, retained quite a high buffer in the background as yep. where we know we can survive without any work for, for three months without changing anything. Yep. Um, after three months, then we can evaluate, uh, evaluate mm -hmm. it and see, you know, what do we need to um, uh, reduce or moving forward? Yeah. And then, um, so there's... One thing also to realize is that, um, and this is going back to like the financial crash of, of 2008, is that things were very bad for some people, right? There were layoffs or people losing their houses and everything. But uh, at, on the flip side, there were large portions of the population, probably 60%, where nothing changed. They were in an industry that um, wasn't affected by the downturn their salaries didn't change, their bonuses didn't change, nothing changed. So a good portion of the photography industry continued to do just fine. Yeah. The things that are different, obviously, is that a lot of people just can't have weddings right now or can't have portraits. But um, you, you've probably seen in, in the, the Fundy Storyteller Facebook group, uh, people are still continuing to have very good uh, album upgrade sales and portrait sales, and they're doing them through uh, Zoom, just like we're doing now. Yeah. So, and, uh, so, so keep, don't just turn your business off, yeah. right? Keep reaching out. All of your clients who haven't uh, finalized their albums, set up Zoom appointments with them. Any portrait clients, engagement shoots that had didn't order any wall art or anything like that, set up Zoom appointments with them. Uh, to, to get them through. And maybe they, maybe they don't want to pay for everything all at once, but you can create payments plans uh, for them through PayPal or there's another, uh, I know there's a company in, in England that does this where you can just send them a link and they fill it out and you get all of your money now and they, they do installments. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of what we've been saying to people as well, you know, contact the, uh, your clients that didn't have an album and, um, see if you want to work together and create an album and then create a, play, uh, a payment plan if they want to yeah. take that on board. So th there is loads of different things we can do while we are uh, tied to our office as well. Yeah. Uh, and, and Zoom's brilliant. It's, uh, it's very <coughs> diversitive. You know, you can um, even have meetings if your clients are uh, at home and they can't get out, then we can still contact them through Zoom and have that meeting mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. I know... And 
I know yourself, I know you like to uh, start early and uh, finish early. So, yeah. um, that, I mean, that's a, a good thing for business because maybe that's one thing we could recommend to other people. If they do have to go to their studios and offices and they have staff, then start earlier and then uh, finish earlier so they're not in the sort of the peak um, uh, afternoon when all the bustings happen and everyone's going around because we've got to limit that content. Um, uh, everybody's working, for us where we're at, everybody's working remotely. Um, we've closed down the offices, you know, and if that's a possibility, that's what I recommend. You just don't, you don't want to be in a closed environment with other people right now because you don't know their situation yeah and i suppose that's the uh, the plus of um being like an online business as well in software that you, you can work from home and you can send your staff to work from home as well mm -hmm. yeah cool so uh, i'm going to uh, get on to the uh, the third question uh, as a family man uh, what advice could you give to help people stay positive uh, not get trapped in that continuous watching the news and just being glued to the the tv yeah, well, yeah, get uh, get off the news, you know, make, make, I check the news in the morning and then I watch the evening news at night and then stay off because um, here's, I've got the news for you. The next news you're going to see is going to be worse than the news that you just saw. It's just going to be getting worse. So there's no reason <laughs> to be focusing every single moment on that news. The, res the, the result of that news is not going to change. The result is always going to be, you know, stay away from people as much as possible. Don't go into large groups, you know, wash your hands. Like, so the, the result of watching the news is not going to change your life except for making, giving you more anxiety. Yeah, and I, I was just going to say that I think watching the news all the time can give you that anxiety and you sort mm -hmm. of fixate on it and because you're fixated on that constant, um, you know, soaking the news in, that's when your business is starting to slowly slip away yep. because you're not concentrating on how to keep your business afloat and push it forward. You're more about what's on the TV, what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know here in the UK, we have an update once a, once a day, sort of a, an official 10 down yep. street update. Mm -hmm. And if you watch that, then that's really all you need to watch. So. Yeah. Uh, the, the media does blow a lot of things out of proportion. Um, well, it's the, I mean, so the, I think it's currently the, the way media works is that the media has to get your attention to get you to click on it, to go see it. So the more sensationalized their headline is, the more money they'll make. So they are going to sensationalize everything. It's not really their fault because if they didn't do that, then they would be out of business um, so you know, stay off social media. Yeah. So yeah. Also I've been doing this and it's horrible to say, but in my friends list, if people are really, really negative, I'm snoozing them for 30 days. Yeah. That, right? and that's, you, don't, you don't need, you need positivity around you. So if you have people that are reposting every scary news story, just give them a little snooze. Yeah. Like, I'll talk to you in another 30 days. <laughs> it's fine. That's, you be you. That, 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 that is some good advice. I mean, I know my Facebook just explodes with, um, I think it's a, a, a toilet roll uh, bandana at the moment. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's no harm in snoozing a couple of people. They, they won't take offense. And you, you're right. You want to be around positive people at the time. Yeah. And I've, uh, I highly recommend it. I've started using a I actually started this about six months ago and it really helps. And I thought it was a bunch of hooey. <laughs> I don't know if you use that phrase in England, uh, but I started using a meditation app every morning and it really does help just to help you kind of reset, focus on, you know, what's important and all the good stuff and to get you through the day and sometimes even again in the afternoon. So yeah. highly recommend that. Um, there's the, my favorite is the Headspace app. Um, the owner is is British, so you can support your local economy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, it's, it, I mean, even myself this morning, um, I thought, you know what, it, it's time to start exercising again. And yep. um, I, I was doing all my exercises uh, this morning in the front room. You don't need to go to a gym. It's just like you. I have this, uh, you know, seven minute app and yep. you, uh, you do your seven minutes of exercises. Yep. 
and it just makes you feel a bit more alive and to attack mm -hmm. the day as well. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I just thought the news story just came across. There is a man in France because France is on lockdown. He ran a full marathon on his seven meter by one meter balcony. <laughs> just in circles. Yeah. So it almost made him sick, but he did a full marathon. <laughs> No, I, I know you're into your running, so, uh, you know, you're, you're going to have to give that a try. <laughs> I don't know if I could get, that's pretty dizzy. Yeah, I could run around my house, maybe. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw in um, sort of my final uh, question now. So uh, it is uh, stressful times, but, I, you know, I'm sure we'll come through this uh, robust yep. and, you know, more stronger than we've ever been. Mm -hmm. uh, but as a positive, would you say that this is a good time for everyone to actually look at the business and streamline the business? Uh, and, and from that, I'm probably going to say maybe someone uses um, a different album designing company. Maybe they um, uh, go to Loxley to get their albums and they use Loxley's um, um, own software that's very limited. Yeah. Would you say this is a good time to try new things as well, like obviously come over to your software and have a play around? Yeah, so bigger picture, I think this is the perfect time to retool everything in your business. Look at your website, look at your marketing materials, look at your workflow and production. Um, I know a lot of uh, creatives spend an inordinate amount of time in Lightroom and production. So see how you can streamline all of that because uh, it's the... There's, there's only three ways to make more money in, in uh, any business. Get more customers, make more money per customer, or uh, cut down production costs, right? So look at all of those things, right? Cut down production costs. So the faster you can accomplish any task, uh, the better, right? Uh, make more money per customer. So that's where uh, Fundy Designer kind of shines above the rest as we have the slideshows and sales tools built in so that you can not only design the album, but you can sit down with your clients and go through the sales process on a slideshow. Um, you can sell wall art to your engagement customers, make, you know, save the date and thank you cards for them. So those, those little extra add-ons that help you make a little bit more per customer. And then, you know, get more customers. So, you know, we introduced the magazine designer. So you can design a magazine and make a PDF download off of your website that, you know, it just presents a more polished version of yourself. Yeah. So every, everything in your business is a great time to just sit down, look at different areas that you can make improvements and tighten things up, make a list, and then every day you have something to do instead of spending time on social media, watching the news. Um, I mean, if, if you want to have a couple pints like uh, Robert's done today, it's totally fine. <laughs> he, he, he says, and it's just sitting here at the side. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> but uh, I mean, uh, one, of the, one of the things that I would uh, definitely say, if I can just knit down here and pull, two, pull one out, yeah, he better oh, be pulling out a pint. Ah, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> Pull me another pint. Yeah. I'll be on the G and T next. <laughs> yep. So one of the uh, one of the things you mentioned there was the the magazines. Now, for me, the magazines is it, it's a massive selling point. Um, it's a way to showcase my work very quickly. Mm -hmm. And if you have got some time on your hands, then uh, so I have two magazines. So this one is specifically made for uh, the hotel. So all these images were actually shot at the hotel. Mm -hmm. but inside it has all my prices and um, it has all wording done from that hotel. So I teamed up with a hotel and basically said I would supply them with um, their brochures that they could then show their customers um, what weddings look like at their hotel. Yeah. So this is also a good opportunity where you're quiet to actually get out there and uh, go and visit some hotels and maybe offer them something like that where you go into funding, you design a magazine uh, and you use that to promote yourself in conjunction with that venue as well. Yeah. And um, 
in addition to the magazines, I was just did a webinar with Vanessa Joy and she creates uh, cards for every single one of her venues and flower people, everybody in the front of the card is the partner, the venue or the flowers and the back of the card is her photos with her photography logo and contact information. Yeah, yeah it's, gives it's, them out. It's, it's so simple to do within the software and it's, it's again, it's another selling tool um, and it'll help you it'll help you get more customers in. I mean, the, the hotels that I deal with. So we just got these ones done uh, by Graffy the other day and I had a yeah. uh, hundred of these made up, dropped Beautiful, them down right? to the hotel. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then that hotel then becomes um, kind of a selling point for me because they do all the work with showing their mm -hmm. customers mm -hmm. my pricing and my images um, and I would say that has brought me a lot more people in by them coming to me saying, Hey, we, you know, we've got your magazine, the hotel gave it to us. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to talk to you about you doing our wedding. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So retool everything, figure out the best way that you can use your time in your business to, uh, basically tighten everything up and, uh, get ready for when this turns around. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I mean, you're, you've given us some uh, brilliant advice there, uh, Andrew. Um, really appreciate you uh, coming on board because uh, obviously it's early over there and it's late here. So it'd be about 11 o'clock uh, your time and it's uh, you know, getting on for uh, half six. Uh, yeah, my I've time, already been so. up for six hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so early, early riser. But, you know, right. appreciate you um, coming on board. Thanks a lot for the advice. And uh, I, the only thing I've got to say to everyone is stay positive. Uh, we can easily get through this. Look at your business, make a good business plan and put that into uh, perspective. Uh, like Andrew said, it's time to streamline your business. Look at your website, maybe even put some fresh content on your website, update your images on there as well and um, try some new software out that you've been meaning to, but you just haven't had the time before because maybe you was editing uh, or you was doing the weddings uh, as well. So I'm going to uh, end it on there, uh, Andrew, and uh, I'm just, you know, thanks a lot for coming around, around and we'll look forward to the next time. All right. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.